It rained overnight in Los Angeles, about a tenth of an inch, and these days even a few drops is enough to make news. But it's not nearly enough to make a dent in one of the worst droughts in history. John Blackstone tells us an entire species could be wiped out as rivers and creeks run dry. Along the California coast, coho salmon that swim upstream to lay their eggs could not have better friends than biologists Charlotte and John Ambrose. This married couple has spent years working to keep salmon from going extinct in California. Overfishing and habitat destruction pushed the coho to the brink. Now, the state's severe drought could be the final threat. The population is so low now that when these natural events happen, that could be what tips them over the edge into extinction. We should be seeing nests of eggs here um, in the gravels. This nearly dry creek has been an essential part of the struggle to save the salmon. Scott Creek is what we call our ground zero. The creek runs beside a hatchery that raises and releases about 40,000 fish each year. Even in a good year, only about 400 of those, just 1%, survive to return to lay their eggs. If you look at all these rocky outcroppings, the fish has to swim over each and every one of those. Obstacles begin miles away at the ocean. Where we're standing right now, this should be a rushing river coming out to the sea? We should be seeing fish coming in and fish going out. There is so little water this year, the creek stops before reaching the ocean. Salmon trying to return to the creek to lay their eggs have nowhere to go. Situation is dire. The drought makes it more dire, but it is not hopeless. What hope there is comes from the hatchery that each year keeps some salmon to harvest their eggs. That precious supply protected behind the locked door of an incubator provides one more chance to keep the species alive. John Blackston, CBS News, Davenport, California.